Hi everyone, my name is Robin Speziali and I'm a national best-selling author of a book called Market Masters. In this video, we'll be talking about uh, one of the most popular traders of all time, and his name is Jesse Livermore. Um, Jesse Livermore, you know, while the most popular, um, I would say he's, he's not the most successful trader. Uh, he, um, he passed away in 1940, um, but there is a best-selling book about him called um, reminiscences of a stock operator and um, in that book it just chronicles his ups and downs in the market and I believe he actually um, committed suicide um, and it was probably due to um, you know, either his depression or other cycles in the market that he had gone through I'm not exactly sure but he did leave uh, with the investment community he left um, 21 investing rules um, and, you know, while I didn't research a lot into Jesse Livermore as, you know, he, he was a trader um, and you know, he was into these, these short term trades in and out of companies on the market, um, whereas I am a more of a long term uh, growth investor, there's still a lot to learn from him. And uh, he was he was very wise to the market and he was wise to market uh, participants. He was very much, um, you know, he was uh, he was street smart. Okay, um, he didn't really have a, a, a good formal education. Um, so here's, here's his, um, his 21 investing rules from one to 21, not in rank order, but here it goes. Number one, Jesse Livermore says, nothing new ever occurs in the business of speculating or investing in securities and commodities. Number two, money cannot consistently be made trading every day or every um, week during the year. Number three, don't trust your own opinion and back your judgment until the action of the market itself confirms your opinion. Number four, markets are never wrong. Opinions, though, often are. Number five, the real money made in speculating has been in commitments showing in profit right from the start. Six, at, at long as the stock is acting right and the market is right, do not be in a hurry to take profits. Seven, one should never permit speculative ventures to run into investments. Eight, the money lost by speculation alone is small compared to the gigantic sums lost by so-called investors who have let their investment ride. Nine, never buy a stock because it has had a big decline from its previous high. 10, never sell a stock because it seems high priced. 11, I become a buyer as soon as a stock makes a new high on its movement after having had a normal reaction. 12. Never average losses. 13. The human side of every person is the greatest enemy of the average investor or speculator. 14. Wishful thinking must be banished. 15. Big movements take time to develop. 16. It is not good to be too curious about all the reasons behind price movements. 17. It is much easier to watch a few than many. 18. If you cannot make money out of the leading active issues, you are not going to make money out of the stock market as a whole. 19. The leaders of today may not be the leaders of two years from now. 20. Do not become completely bearish or bullish on the whole market because one stock in some particular group has plainly reversed its course from the general trend. And then finally, number 21. Few people ever make money on tips. Beware of inside information. If there was easy money lying around, no one would be forcing it into your pocket. And so these were Jesse Livermore's 21 investing rules that have stood the test of time, really. Um, you know, some of these I don't completely agree with, but uh, if you're a you know, trader, if you're a short-term uh, swing trader, investor, um, there's some important things to learn from Jesse Livermore. Uh, he was incredibly street smart. And um, there's some things I even apply, uh, you know, to, to my own investing. One of the most notably um, important ones here from his 21, uh, his list of 21 principles is, you know, don't average your losers. And I believe it was um, Paul Tudor Jones who evolved that saying and said, losers average losers. And so what I do in my own stock portfolio, I only add um, new money to existing holdings um, if the stocks are going up, if they're proving to be winners in my portfolio, I will never anymore um, conduct dollar cost averaging or add new money to existing holdings or stocks that are going down uh, because I want to find out what the heck is going on with those companies. Um, and I don't want to be adding um, you know, money to dead opportunities. So hope you enjoyed this, guys. Happy investing. If you have any questions for me, 
You can email me at r.speziali at gmail.com or check out my website um, for more posts on investing. That's robinspeziali.com. Thanks, guys.